well player? I think you guys got him last week. What were you trying to get you, better you're at? Three up, three three forward. Three up, three forward. Oh, as far as mine? Yeah. Uh, so the like, way we kind of put it, Coach Happy just wanted me to uh, be more detailed. Uh, he wanted me to develop as a leader, more of a leader. And he wanted me to, last one was he wanted me to keep uh, working on press technique. When you guys have those kind of meetings and get some praise, get some <laughs> stuff to work on, what, mm -hmm. how beneficial are those to you guys as players? I think it's like it's really beneficial because kind of like it's kind of like putting a restart on the whole season. Now you kind of know what you have to like. I mean, most times you don't get a chance to reevaluate yourself until the off season. So they're like kind of like coming to at the right at the halfway point of the season and be able to sit down with your coach and go over things. And it means a lot because then you kind of have things you got to work on in practice. Hey Jeff, we talked to Jordan yesterday. He said he kind of gets bored back there um, at safety with the way you guys are playing. I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on uh, him being bored. Sometimes, like, being bored isn't a bad thing sometimes. I mean, <laughs> at the same time, he also has two interceptions. So I, I feel like he's getting a lot of balls thrown his way back there, or tips, whether it's tips, overthrows. But, I mean, I know he's going to take them all, no matter how they come. So what's to say about how well you guys are playing, that he can actually almost be back there picking flowers? Uh, I think it kind of just speaks to, like, the kind of work that we put in this whole offseason, uh, kind of trying to bring back BIA. That's what our goal has been. So uh, it kind of speaks to, like, the work we put in. Jeff, uh, I asked why of this. He, along with you and, and obviously Chase, you guys been on these mid-season All-American teams. You know, again, it's just mid-season. Mm -hmm. But how, does that mean anything to you at this point, or is it just because it's mid-season that I wait till the end? For the uh, I think, I mean, it means a, a lot to be recognized by those websites, uh, whichever websites they were. But at the same time, like we have a lot of more ball to be played. Uh, we're only six games in. It's a long season, so. Uh, you guys have all heard it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So I, I think they don't ever remember the midseason or preseason All-Americans. They remember the ones that have uh, trees planted in the grove. Do you Jeff, where do you like think you got so Go ahead, Bill. Do you feel like you're playing at that level, at the uh, American level? I feel like I've been playing pretty well, so it's just about uh, enhancing that. I mean, uh, you don't want to finish the season how you played six games, and you want to be a better player, obviously. So that's my goal, to be a better player uh, six games from now. Have you guys felt, Jeff, like you were getting back to that <coughs> BIA level the last six weeks? Uh, I definitely think so. I think that uh, we're going to have a lot of more tests in uh, this uh, latter half of the season. So uh, we'll have a chance to like really prove like who we think that we are. Did you guys see at all the uh, DBU conversations last weekend with Florida and LSU? Yeah, we saw we saw that. But like, well, we, we don't really entertain that just because uh, we feel like we're BIA. Everyone else claims DBU, but we just claim BIA. Jeff, you're getting ready to play an offense that hasn't done very much this year. They've, they've sincerely struggled. How does that affect the way you prepare? And I mean that not to insult them. I mean, yeah. how does it affect the way that you prepare? Are you looking at things? Are there enough things on tape that keep your attention that they will provide a threat? I mean, we just know that, like, you know, like history can repeat itself. So, like, if we don't come prepared, if we don't come ready to play, you know, Western's a program that they pride themselves on toughness and, like, being really smart. So, like, if we're not ready to play, they're going to punch us in the mouth. And, uh, like, sometimes, as you guys can see, like, you don't recover from that. Like, the whole season can just be shattered just by one game. And they've bounced between quarterbacks. Um, how, especially from a defensive back standpoint, how does that affect preparation? I don't think it necessarily affects preparation. It just, like, you have to be ready, like, when your number, like, if they try to throw it to you, you have to be ready to make the play. So, obviously, they put two different quarterbacks on uh, film, guys that have different skill sets. But at the same time, we've played a lot of different quarterbacks this year, so it's kind of just like playing any other quarterback. Jeff, how much of a role do you play in recruits around campus and, and showing them not necessarily campus and, and what they do here at Ohio State, but in trying to talk to a kid from an area like Dallas about mm -hmm. the, the possibility of coming to the at Ohio State? How, how much of a role do you, do you feel like you play in that? I kind of, I guess I play the role kind of just uh, they could just actually see that as possible. You know, a lot of guys you know, might get nervous about coming, making that move from the south or from the west all the way to Columbus. So just to see that as possible, you know, guys, you have guys from Florida, Texas, making plays on the field. Like, you're not you're not too far from home. Like, it's a lot of guys. This this team is really diverse as far as where the guys come from. So I mean, you'll find you'll find the guys to hang around. You'll find com uh, a comfortable fit in the locker room. When you guys go on the road like this week, um, in general, you guys have played a lot of night games and you go on the road. Is that is that tougher than a noon game on the road? 
I don't know, this week, so we're playing on Friday, it kind of feels like high school football, you know. I've been playing on a Friday since my first senior year, so mm -hmm. to be able to come back and play on a Friday, I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. Anything else? <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>